We're going to just sort of turn them. This is now where the glaze comes into effect. It's been simmering for a few minutes. And what we're going to do now is turn the glaze off and we're just going to give it that rum glaze like that. I know. <laughs> I would love that. Perfect. Okay. So now we got the glaze. It's getting happy one more time. This is when we go back now for the tuna. Do a few slices of the tuna. Then we layer this right on here. And then we just kind of really quick go whoop. <laughs> and then we go whoop. And then we go some lettuce. And there you have it, a little sandwich. Huh? Now, I'm going to take a little bit of this grilled glazed pineapple. Ah, three slices, right? Seems like a normal portion. Yeah. Then, when I make these ice creams, Sometimes I have the cardboard ones that you can find, but if you can get these plastic ones that you can get, and they come in half size too, they're absolutely perfect because you can stack them, you can do all kinds of things, not just for ice cream, but if you uh, make stock and you want to freeze stock, et cetera, et cetera. So, getting back to this coconut ice cream. So I made this in the old ice cream machine, and to finish this pineapple, I just put a little coconut ice cream like that. Ah, uh, why not? Let's have a little more, right? What's another 600 calories amongst friends? Who's counting? Then how I like to finish it is I take more toasted coconut, and then for the adults, you can always just sort of do a little drizzle of that. And there you have it, right? A little grilled pineapple. Now, the other way you can do this presentation is family style. And then what you would do is just put the pineapple like this in the center of the ice cream goes. Coconut, a little rum, and I want to say, hey, I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight on this great grill show. See you tomorrow, everybody! Thank <laughs> you.